Right, so myself and Gona here in Burger King, O'Connell Street. Gona's just after getting the, I'd say, fifth drink poured on him tonight. This time it wasn't alcoholic. Uh, oh, he's actually just back from the jacks now. <laughs> Let's see what he has to make of this. Actually, here he comes now. Here he, here he is, here he is, here he is. So what have you got to make it a whole, uh, you getting your fifth drink poured over you tonight? It's fucking brilliant. No, it's not. It's gay. I'm tired of getting soaked. What a rich, she says to me, sorry, but I got soaked, so I had to be done. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Someone else soaks you, so instead of soaking them, you get me. Cheers, love. And I wouldn't have minded if she was hot, but she's not. It's just a secret between us. And in all fairness, she kind of got me as well. She kind of got me hand. Yeah, your now, hand. She yeah. got all of my leg, all of my left leg, in my jacket <coughs> pocket, and my iPod, and my whatever the fuck else was in my pocket. Bags, I think. No, my wallet. With uh, enough money to get me home, and to, uh, to uh, get me whatever the fuck else I'm going to get in the next couple of hours. Yeah. So, yeah, t pictures. Check them out that we put up. They're good. We're having a good time. Apart from my getting soaked, we're having a good time. I have to say, guys, the funniest part was the minute me and Gong got into 21s. We walked onto the dance floor, and the second Gong's feet hit the dance floor, what happened? Some girl lifts her arms up in the air. Next minute, a drink just fucking pours all over his head. Not even that. She fucking does this basically. Whoa, boom! Hits off me hat, pours on me hat. Barely, barely. I don't know how, but a dribble got me hat. Fucking so, <coughs> fucking so. Oh, here. And my jeans are starting to get this weird looking white line from the bags, box. In fairness, it was so funny, and I just had to laugh at it. But I just wouldn't stop hitting him. Yeah, he goes and punches me for laughing at it. It was fucking funny, for God's sake. How do you expect me not to laugh at it? It was Post a comment funny. saying whether you'd hit somebody for laughing at you getting soaked or not. If you were drinking. Yeah, please do. I'd, we would both like to hear your opinions on whether you should punch someone for laughing at you for getting a drink thrown over you the minute you get into an nightclub or not. Do we have a YouTube account? Well, I have a YouTube account. I know I do, and you do, but do we have a Stag Radio account? We don't have a Stag Radio account. We're setting account. up a Stag Radio YouTube account tomorrow, and uh, this video, and uh, the uh, us getting pranked video, um, because that seems to be a prank, and somehow funny, somehow. Anyway, uh, what else? And to be honest, it's not that funny, it's in not fairness, really a because prank in fairness, like a, yeah, it's not actually a prank, because in fairness, we were going into town to check out phones and laptops but and internets in case we wanted the to. The main for reason, the main reason we went to town was to get Rob's prize because he won our first ever competition. Our first ever. Hang on. What's that sound? Hang competition. Hang on. Our first and so far only. <laughs> no, we've had two. Oh, okay. Do you remember the ones for the Toy Story tickets that nobody won? Oh yeah, I forgot about it. So far, only one competition. The other one was fucking impossible. It was like a newspaper or something, wasn't it? Go yeah, on. yeah, but then I changed the sound oh, for yeah. the next two weeks. Change the sound every time, because it's not, it's not awesomely cool at all if you keep the same sound, because then people might get it. Exactly, so and you have to just keep changing it, you know, you have to keep changing it, because eventually you will run out of money and you can't afford a lot of prizes all the time, so you have to change it so that nobody will win it. <laughs> no more creepy faces. We're uh, eating a uh, Burger King. Now, just, I want to say something. Chris Griffin is a vegetarian, okay? Look at him. Vegetarian. Vegetarian. Shut up, this is going on YouTube. Shut up, shut up, shut up. We got two 350 beers, and I work in Burger King, so I will tell you exactly what a 350 beer is. A small double cheeseburger <laughs> meal. Small double cheeseburger. Small double cheeseburger meal with a small chips and uh, drink. He got Diet Coke, I got Coke. He fucking mealed into that, and that's all that's left. A dribble of his drink and uh, two of these pickles. 
So uh, yeah, he looked like he enjoyed his meal, and now back to him. That's not actually my fucking drink there on the paper. That's your one drink that got thrown across the room. <laughs> the leftover <laughs> more drink. Hate that. It's not my drink. My drink is all in me cup. Back to gold. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So we're gonna have uh, many more nights out to come. Thanks to the people that came out. And, um, and the people that haven't, the, the people that haven't come out, fuck you guys. You missed out on getting soaked and partying and possibly getting some. <laughs> possibly, possibly, almost getting some. I told him to make a move. He wouldn't make that move. His bad. He didn't get the girl because he was shy. Everybody, thumbs up if you or like the video if uh, if if you pity Chris and you want to give him sympathy. He's a sympathy whore. Shut up, I got you invited to their gaff afterwards, didn't I? He's a sympathy whore, he's addicted I to sympathy. I didn't have to get you invited to their gaff, but I still fucking did. And did we get to go? No. I knew it. I still asked them, could you come and they said yes, and then they fucked off like bitches. Like all women, they're all fucking bitches, every one of them. Except the hot ones that are nice, like Eva Derwin. And Neve O'Reilly, and Lindsay Kane, and Kate Dillon, they're Ma not hot. Mainly, oh, mainly oh, oh. Eva Derwin. Sorry, sorry, and Barbara Sarmiento. Mind you, she is a lesbian, but still, she counts as not being a bitch. So, there are a few women who don't count as bitches, but most of them are bitches. In fact, 98.9% .9 of them are bitches. Except Eva Derwin, she's the only not bitch, and, and she's hot, and if she's watching this, now you know how I feel. Oh, and Chris Griffin still loves you. Then again, anybody who's ever felt anything for you probably never will stop feeling anything for you. And back to him to take away from the awkward. Mark Heath is crazy about you, Aoife. Hang on. Mark's crazy about anything that moves or has a pulse. Or anything that has two wheels and a chain and two pedals. Or legs that can breathe. In fact, he's probably the most obvious person at checking out a girl in the world. This is your casual bloke. Peripheral vision, checking out a girl. I'm checking out the girl to my right. There are very few girls to my right. This is Mark's idea of checking out a girl. That walks by. No, 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 no. This is how Mark Heath does it. The girl is to my left, right? This is how Mark Heath checks her out. That's how it's done, Mark Heath style. Forgot to mention how we're in Burger King and it's full of people. <coughs> and uh, this vlog is being seen by everybody. And uh, Chris probably just looked like the biggest creep ever because he started pretending to whack off like Mark would. Huh. All right, this is Stag Radio saying goodbye. Bye, lads. Stay tuned for our New Year's return to the airwaves and our and our possible Christmas special. Don't forget December's edition of Stag Radios. No, should I say DJ Griffin's iPod Top 10, which will be after the 25th of December. Stay tuned on our Facebook page to find out exactly when it will be. This is DJ Griffin and DJ Going signing, signing off. In.